Super cool battery I want to show you guys today. It's a weatherproof lithium iron phosphate battery. This is pretty much a battle born, but I made it with used cells, a battery protect, a cheap BMS, and a relay, and then a $7 little case from Walmart. This costs $320 guys for this whole system and you can use it outdoors. You might be wondering why we do not have battery terminals on the top of this and I wanted it to be actually weatherproof. I want to be able to use this outside and I'm going to test it for months. So instead of battery terminals we have a positive wire and a negative wire and then we have a positive wire for the solar charge controller and this allows us to charge the battery directly without going through our battery protect system. And this battery has the same stats as a Battleborn. It can discharge it 100 amp but the only big difference is that because we have used cells these only have 90 percent of the capacity that's why they were so cheap they're slightly mismatched too but it's fine i've done a lot of capacity tests and we can always get 90 percent of the capacity another difference is that the battleborn has a low temperature cutoff and this one doesn't unless you spend 40 dollars extra so instead of like 320 you have to spend 360 dollars but still this is like one third the cost of a Battleborn and we made it in one day. So this is super cool. But the biggest bummer about the system is these used cells. After I posted my first video on how to use these, every single listing on eBay is out of stock. I'm kind of bummed that I make that video because everyone wants to buy those now and I can't even buy them anymore because they're in such high demand. But they work great. I've been using this thing like crazy and I love it. And this is gonna serve as the test bed for this system. We have a palm tree stump and some solar panels those are waterproof we have a voyager pwm controller and we are going to attach it to this battery and try to charge it up i'm going to have to add some crimp connectors these little clamps are too big for this box now we need to change the settings on the solar charge controller for lithium hold down the battery type button and right now we're at AGM, but we're going to go over to... So there's a lithium titanate setting with 14 volts. I like that better than 14.4, so we're going to leave it. We're charging the battery, you guys. Isn't that cool? All right, let's check the voltage at the battery and see what's going on. Right now we have 12.64. And how we're going to use this power is I'm going to charge up my electric scooter with the power that we store with this. Because I have my scooter outside, I have my charger right here. So we need to connect a small inverter to this system. So here's our inverter and our crimp connectors. We're going to use some marine grade cable. This is weatherproof, waterproof and it can handle the elements. Now we have two marine grade cables connected to the negative and then the positive of the battery protect. Before we close this all up, we have 12.7 volts. It's actually charging. That's so cool. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness, we have two cables. This is a power source. These two wires have power that I can use every day now. This will charge itself up and we have power. And now these two cables, we're gonna connect to this little inverter. There's our first cable. And now our second cable. Now let's turn it on. Is it on? It's on, isn't that great? But these things are not waterproof, so I'm gonna have to make a box out here or something. Here's the moment of truth. We're gonna plug in my electric scooter and see if it can handle the load. This is a super cheap inverter, by the way. And we're charging. Isn't this so cool? I mean, we can power my scooter, which I use all over town, with an outdoor weatherproof small solar power system that's under 400 bucks. Like that's incredible. So now the next step is actually seeing if this system works. I'm gonna leave the battery and the solar panel outside in the sun indefinitely until it breaks. And we're gonna use it every single day for me to charge up my scooter. And so now I have a free way to charge up my scooter with sunshine but it's its own little tiny system. So it's so cool. And I'm also gonna charge up my little Segaway. So this thing's going to see a lot of use. These things are so fun. This is my official mail and sushi getter. But I use the scooter every day to get groceries and I like locking it up. So yeah. So let's talk about the inner workings of this battery system. We have a main positive and a main negative. The negative is connected directly to the main terminal of the battery. The positive goes through the battery protect that's rated for 100 amps. And then this is connected to the main positive terminal of the battery. So everything that goes in and out of this battery has to go through the battery protect. This battery protect is controlled by this relay. 
When this relay is on, it will connect these two wires and these two wires are connected to the remote terminals of the battery protect. When these are shorted or the relay is on, the battery protect will connect these two wires and you will have power at the battery. If these remote wires are open circuit or disconnected from one another, the out and the in terminals on the battery protect will be disconnected and you will have zero power. And so this relay is controlled by a BMS output wire. So the BMS has an out which is a negative and then the relay has a minus and a positive. So this relay is connected to the main positive terminal of the battery and the output wire of the BMS. When the BMS is on, it means that everything is happy on the battery. That means that the cell voltages that it monitors of each individual cell is all good to go and working properly. When one of the cells dips too low and you have an under voltage situation because you are drawing a lot of power from the battery, this BMS will disconnect power from this relay wire and turn off the relay. When this relay is off, it will disconnect our loads. So instead of being stuck to 60 amps or 40 amps with this BMS, we have 100 amps, but it's still controlled by this BMS. I really hope that made sense. Please check out my website with an easy to see schematic of all of these wires, but it's really simple. You know, you just have a positive and a negative. It's controlled by the battery protect and the battery protect is controlled by a relay and that's controlled by a BMS. So very, very simple system. The bus bars on top, I smashed some copper pipe from the plumbing section at Home Depot and drilled some holes into it and it works great. And then we have another wire from the battery protect ground that goes to the main negative ground and that's it. So yeah, you guys can build this. This is very simple. Also, there are two vents on the top of this battery but you can seal it with a turnabon tape. It's roof sealing tape. So make sure that these holes are sealed with like epoxy or something. So yeah, this video is pretty much done. Let me know what you guys think about this system. I'm gonna have a schematic on my website and a price list of all the parts that I used. I mean, this entire system with the inverter and the solar panels were probably under $500, but the battery is like the bulk price in these systems. And the fact that we made it $320, God, these birds are so loud, man. But the fact that we made it 320 bucks is awesome. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later, bye.